I'm Tony. I'm Rachel. Back with some more Satisfactory. Um, as always, you want to see the other person's view, the link's in the description below. I am the one looking at the hub right now. The other view's Rachel's. Yes, I'm the one eating the nut. <laughs> that's how process it. <laughs> if I'm the one looking at the hub, then the one that's not looking at the hub is the one that's... Not everybody knows that, all right? You don't have to, you don't have to make them feel bad. All right. I'm looking at a bacon mushroom. I'm analyzing a bacon mushroom. You're looking mushroom. at a bacon mushroom? Yeah, there's a bacon mushroom in the analyzer right now. I'd like something to get in a fast food place. Need to get a bacon mushroom? Um, yeah, it absolutely does sound like that. Oh, hey, um, I forgot we have all the stuff for this thing. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. We have all the stuff for what? Yeah, you need to go put it in. You've got the rest of the components. Oh, I do. I do? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. The 200 plates and the 200 rods? Yes. All right. Coming in. 200 rods. 200 plates. You push the big button. Okay. Oh. You can push the big button. No, you too. can put. No, I prefer you push the big button. <laughs> bye bye. There it goes. Kind of. Where it go? I'm struggling a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> All right. What do we have here? Okay, I can make a color gun. I think I have enough things to make a color cartridge really yet, so I need 25 flower petals. Uh, we have a ton of flower petals. In the chest with the, like the leaves and the biomass? There's like hundreds. 28. There's a pelberry. Where oh, it's the this, this one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hundreds. So I thought I was like, I know there's a ton in there. Okay. Um, I didn't realize we had that many. I've picked a lot of flowers. <laughs> I was thinking those uh, berries. Ah. Uh, where are there? Orb go. Orb. There's the orb. Okay, I made a few cartridges. Okay, now let's make a color gun. Um, Amanita lardum or bacon agarate can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Okay. I need more rods and rods. <laughs> um, is there like a split? I don't know what the split button is. Uh, there is. It's shift click. And then it'll bring up a menu. I just shift click to just. No, no, like shift and then hover over it essentially. Hold down shift and then hover. I am. Is it control? I've used it a couple times. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Alright, all the buttons. Okay, Do I one need second, let me. This menu? Maybe it's why. We're good. There we go. Oh, it's right click. Okay, so you hold control and then you right click. Oh. And then when you let go, it'll split the stack. Okay. Sorry, I was, I was giving you wrong information. <laughs> I was like, I, I am. I, <laughs> <laughs> you totally were. Okay. Right. Is there any particular thing you would like for me to find? Um, I don't know. What's the particular thing we need? Well, I'm, I'm kind of on a hunt for those green worms. Uh, those aren't too bad. That improves everything. Speaking of, I've got two improvements on me I need to actually utilize. Correct. And I now have a uh, pink gun as well. I keep wanting to hit I. <laughs> I? For inventory. For inventory? Oh, I see. That's logical. I think something else we're playing uses I for inventory, so I, I think I'm messing that up that way. Yeah. Yeah, I just did it again, <laughs> actually, in the middle <laughs> of saying that. We need to have a universal game thing for inventory because sometimes it's B for bag sometimes it's I this, this, this one is tab, tab this time yeah can I I don't know can you <laughs> okay there we go now, how do I load it load ammo yeah how do I okay R reload there we go hey I got squirt gun you, you got a squirt gun yeah how do I change the color 
Um. Um. <laughs> I want to change the How color. How do you change the color? That's a very good question. How do I get up there? Oh, right click. Oh, nice. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to mark ah, these two. Oh, wait, I'm going to mark these two, actually. Right click, and we'll go. Um, start with the blue, because I think that's different than everything that's out there. Mm -hmm. and we'll turn this blue, and that's the blue line. The blue line is the plates. Blue line, plates. Okay. So all the blue lines are the plates, and then um, let's see. Do kind of like a burgundy. There's oranges to use all over the place. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do a burgundy. Burgundy? That didn't change. Um, burgundy. There we go. Black color. Or it's like purple, actually. That totally didn't look the same. <laughs> Anyways, purple now is going to be the rods. Okay, so blue is the plates. And purple is the rods. Yes. There we go. Now I can Ooh. see like, the blue line or the purple line. I like it. It's also really easy, like when you get above, to see like exactly what's going on now. All right. Oh yeah, because you got your new lookout tower. Yeah, I'm actually just standing on top of this thing though. Okay, I've got those. What do I need now? Um, I had something I was going to do, but then I started painting. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. What do we need on... We don't have our next, next tier task, do we? Um, oh, nope. Yes, like we don't. this one, because it just takes five knots. Go ahead and get that taken care of, I guess. Okay. Should be. I have a bunch on me. If there's not I've, enough. I, there's. It's only five of them. I, there was five of them in this. Flower petals. Oh, that's right. You put flower petals in the last one, right? Yeah, they're in with where the biomass stuff is. Is there a reason why they're in with the biomass and not the other uh, random stuff in the middle? I thought they were kind of biomass. <laughs> they're that's not. Weird. I'm gonna throw them back with the middle stuff. Okay. That works. That way they don't end up getting scrapped on accident. Okay, yep. That makes total sense. And then... That one's done. That didn't take off. I think it's just done. Do we have a uh, Paleberry? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. I, might, I know where those are. That's... It's right here. And I will get the Paleberries finished up and that one's done as well we have okay, that, that's a, that's a really bad time to pop up on my screen oh, are you fighting yeah <laughs> it's just it's fine it's fine all right we'll do the jump pads next i guess those will be interesting because what i have noticed is that a lot of the slugs are up in really high places that are very hard to get to oh hmm. and wonder if that's what that's for it could very well be gosh darn it What's angry at me now? Where are you? There you are. Nine. Um, I think. Uh, let's see. I've got the. Those got better. Let's see. going 150%. Ooh, that's me using more wattage. I didn't realize that. What do you mean it's using more wattage? Wait, how's this using 9.2? What's not using wattage? Point 
three. Um, when we increase to 150 percent, that uh -huh. ups the wattage as well. Like the max wattage? Yeah, this one's doing 7.7 .7 now. Oh, interesting. Like the usage, when we oh. increase the product, the production, the use, the wattage goes up with it as well. Oh, okay. I see. I guess that makes 14. sense. Yeah, 15.3. That adds up. Why is this one only sitting at 9.2? 4. Is that all I have on that one? Wait, what do I have on this one? I thought that was... Yeah, okay, that's running to that node. That's running to... That's running to the copper. That's right. Okay, that's why it's using so little. Okay. It's using 5.3 because it's just running out to the copper, and I bet that thing's full. Oh, I bet you're right. I'm going over there to check it out right now. Okay. Yeah, I uh, haven't been by to check it out in a while. That's probably why it's um, sitting at a low wattage, because it's still running part of it, but not all of it. Mm-hmm. Poison flower. But we have two full things of copper ore. That one's full. That one's full. Oh, yes. yep. <laughs> okay. Good thing you uh, noticed that. I am clearing out at least a row just to make sure it continues. That one. Seems like we haven't need a lot of copper for our stuff. Not as much, but I still also want, I, I imagine that's gonna change over time. Yeah. That's, yeah, I've cleared out a whole crap load of it there. Um, I imagine we're gonna have to make something that's gonna be like, man, I wish we didn't like, <laughs> use up all that copper. Yeah, probably. I can start porting this further forward on a conveyor belt up towards the the main production line. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a crap load of plates to do that, though. Is it worth it? I don't know. If we want to truly automate it, eventually it will have to be worth it. Okay, right, because we have to bring it closer to where we are. Is that so, correct? Well, we're going to have to tie it in a line someplace. Mm. So when we're going to need something that needs copper that's going to have to tie in the line somehow. Right. I see. Oh. Don't kill me, poison flower. Don't kill me, poison flower! Alright. I think I want to increase production. Let's do this one. I'm going to do plates, actually, because I'm going to be using a lot of plates. Let's see. What's this look like? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's almost out. Um, that's... That's... Is up to 7.7. Did I just overrun the generator? Crap. I think I just did. Oh, did everything die? Yeah, one second, I can fix it. Okay. See, if I increase that to 150%, does that mean it's going to generate more? Uh, pull lever to result, or uh, reset fuse. Okay, good. Yeah, it's going to keep popping, though, because I'm trying to use too much from it. What happens if I put this in? Is that... That produces a capacity of 27. Okay, it does. Okay. 
But that means I need a third one to be able to increase throughput. Or I need to be able to put that on a different power line. Alright, uh, let's see if I can do that. Can I tie more than one power line together? That would be helpful as well. Um, cause I've got these two running off at one generator, and that's not a whole awful lot. That's 15.3. I can actually use some of it. But this being absolutely smashed on copper, too, I could turn off some of the copper one and then try to hijack some of the resources from that. True, because we're not really using it right now, so. 18, so it's two. Um, I need to get this back moving. At least need to bring that back down to a hundred. So figure out exactly what I'm doing. So that. Right now I'm not building any plates, and that's something I need to be able to keep going on. Right. Ooh, why is it overloaded now? I turned it down. There you go. It's back to 18. Okay. So I have two. Yeah, I need I need one more worm. I have you a worm. It has taken me a while. I have, I have one. <laughs> I have two on me. Was there any more that we had back here? No, that's it. Okay. They're they're quite rare. I could always throw another power source on it. Or I can convert one of the things to use some of this power source. This has got... This is using 15.3. I can spare... About four. That's it's gonna. That to be four. I could put that on it. I could turn off one of the copper lines too, because that's using 18, but we're basically filling it up. Right. Or just throw another one out here. Um. That might be actually an option, just to run, like throw one right here, and that runs these. Yeah, we could do that. Um, we have a lot of biomass, and with the chainsaw, it's really quite easy to get. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, because that's going to allow for us to control... Uh, I still want to... I probably want to keep it back near the base, instead of throwing it right up there. Okay. But I do think throwing another one on so we can increase the production rate of those, and then just split that out. Um, okay, where do I want to put them? Actually, I don't need to do that. I've got one on the front we're not even using. Why don't I just piggyback off that one? Yeah, actually, that's a good point. All right, where are you? I'm right here. Hi. Hi. I have a thing for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, that would push me over. I'll just do that for right now. Uh, see, that one's the copper. This one's the one I need to increase on. Oh, I've got four of them now. Yeah, I gave you two. I found another one on my way back. Oh, um, okay. So three of them improve that line, or I could do two. What's my throughput look like here? Can I open that? There we go. That's fine. That is not fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this one. At least I think. If I get the blue line increased, that'll up that. Um, biomass definitely needs refilled too. Yep, I am replacing right now, and uh, I'm gonna spend tomorrow or like as soon as I get done with this, creating more. I'll take that one. I'm gonna leave that one up there because eventually we're gonna use it. I'm just gonna build another one here. They're not that expensive to build. 
and they'll be on this side. Okay. Um, with, would, how would you prefer for this to be laid out? Okay. That's another biomass. Yeah, so I Generate. can like put it right here, or I can put it around and line them back out more this way. I feel like it would be slightly easier to have them lined up the way you currently have it, lined up in that way. Okay, the the thing I was thinking about is like some point we're probably going to curve them back. Mm. Okay, then to can make you kind put of it... corridor. So I can do this, but it's a matter of do I want to start curving it back now? Oh uh, yeah, here. Could you do it like like here, like kind of where I'm standing, in that area? I don't know what you're pointing. Kind at. of between the the two biomass things and the one on the left. Uh, go stand where you were saying. Yeah. So kind of just right in this general area. Yeah, right, that's right like here. right where I've got it. Okay. Yep. Uh, I could do it there, through. but then we're gonna curl back early. If I put it out here, we can wait a little bit before we curl back. Um, it's probably better if we do that then. Alright, I need to get some plates then. I'll go ahead and do that, and then that'll split out the power, and then I can run more uh, stuff from that. Okay. So plates. That will work. And then I will spend some time refilling the biofuel biomass. I like that purple. It's very uh, eye catching. Yep, you can see the two lines the blue line and the uh, purple line now. Mm -hmm. and that'll. Um, at least give us something to reference off of. Right. I've not been up in the lookout tower yet, too. I want to go up and do that. I got a biomass thing over here. And I want to, with that one, I want to split the power out in such a way. You know what I actually should have done? What's actually, that? I still might. Don't don't put anything in there. Take okay, it out. Okay, let me take it out. out. Oops, I have to drag it out. Can't shift clip it out. There you go. I got an idea. So I've got two of them right here on the backside. Mm -hmm. One of those runs out to the copper. Yeah. Should I just put one over there by the copper? Yeah. Well, we have, yeah. Not over by the copper, but over like in that direction showing it's going out to the copper. That would probably be good. And then just let this one run off the second line. That yeah. way that's obvious which one that one is. Yep, I agree. Right. And that one we don't have to be quite as careful with simply because we're not using as much copper, where these ones I can always keep filled very easily. Yep, so I will just split this off like this. And, and then I need to disconnect this one. That's down, and then... There we go. And then I will put these up. That one, and then that one already has in, and then I'll, I'll throw one over there where that copper tower is, or where that, that area going out that way. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, okay, and then I'm gonna, before I do that, then I want to, I think I'm fine where the copper is right now. I want to actually improve the throughput here now that I'm not tanking the power from that. So that allows you to optimize a little bit better over here? Yeah, because I'm running nine on both, so if I push both of these up one more uh, set. Okay. What happened? Um, I may have had a little incident with getting off of the lookout tower. Oh, I just jumped off the thing. It oh, hurts I, a little bit. Yeah, I hurt a little bit. That's mostly fine. I'm mostly fine. That's overclocked to 150. It's overclocked to 150 now. So what is that pulling at? The left set. Yeah, 17.2. And they're going to be pushing through a lot faster now. Awesome. And I think our limestone is full as well. Yeah, we just haven't needed it. I yep. wouldn't worry about it. We can uh, actually kill the power on that one. Um, it's not doing anything. I just uh, filled it and checked it, and it hasn't moved. It won't, like, accidentally try to run too much from it? No, it, it looks like it's just production stopped. And it's not using any power at this point. Okay. So it's got kind of an automatic shutoff. 
All right. So you put the biomass thing over here. I haven't put it down yet. You haven't put it down. Got I was it. getting these things sped up first. Got it. Okay. Um, here, I'll do that right now. Oh, you don't have to. No rush. I just. That's my next step. I finished what I needed to. Okay. Okay. So we got this pole that's leading out that way. Um, where would be? I don't want to block this actually. So let's take that down. Yeah, we should probably put it like way over here. I wouldn't put it too far, just so you don't have to. Every time it's filled up, I don't yeah. want to have to. Maybe like maybe right here. Right on the sand. Yeah. I don't know what that sand is. It. Uh, I don't think it's anything. Those patches are all throughout the world. Okay. Well, yeah, but so is um, iron deposits. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, but I can always move it. Just uh. Alright. Let me know when we're hooked up and I'll. You fill can it up. do whenever. Like, okay. there, it's hooked up. Alright. Okay. And then I can label the um, power for each one of these based off of that as well. That's right. Because now they're uh, separately. associated with that color, yeah. That one's the purple one. And this one is. Blue. There we go. Purple generator, blue generator. Awesome. And that allows for us to see, like, oh, the purple line's down. Okay. Yep. That's a great idea. And it helps organize things a little bit better. Yep. Did I not get the right color on that one? That looks a lot more purple than that. It does. Maybe it's shadowed. Try that again. Nope. That's just what color it is. Okay. It's part of that line. It's just... I don't know. Must be it's in the shadow. It's just darker. Alright. That should allow for more steel as well. So this left, the purple line, mm -hmm. has... Uh, here, I need to... Okay. That's the one with the excess. Okay. Uh, iron ore. The ingots. All the right. other, other one is producing at such a rate on the plates that it actually doesn't have anything in it. How is that... What do you mean, how is that? So it's, oh, it's making so many things that doesn't have a This doesn't line. have anything in it because it's, as soon as it's coming in, it's coming right out into this. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So if you need ingots, it's going to come out of the other one. Okay. It's going to come out of the purple line, not the blue line. Gotcha. Okay, I follow. That's what I was trying to get at is um, we are not going to probably get anything out of the blue line if we need or, or if we need ingots. Ingots. Okay. Got it. Then this one runs those two... Alright, that should be good there. And that runs... I can't actually... Yeah, I couldn't run those off that. Alright. That should get us more ore faster now. Awesome. Alright, I am going to go ahead and toss these things in. We should have enough material. 100... Also, this chest is like packed full of copper right now. Oh, it is? I can, uh, let me get some more biomass or biofuel and then I will, uh, put those into the correct form. That's some cable. Here, I can burn up some of that copper right now. Where's all that copper? I can't always throw another uh, storage unit on the front of those two and just like, basically push forward, sort of thing. Oh, with more, getting more copper? Um. Well, what I mean is like, okay, so we have one storage unit right now. Yeah. If I throw one in front of that, it'll just keep pushing into a whole nother storage unit. Mm-hmm. So uh, we won't have to worry about um, filling it for quite some time. Um. That would probably be good. I don't know if we have a worry with something like um, making like copper and iron later on to make like, I don't know, games have made like tin out of it and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to predict what we're gonna need. Yeah. A crap load of cable now too. 
which is going to be good because I might be able to just jump through all tier 2 stuff. Oh, cool. That. that one's done. There's launch pads. Buns? Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Alright, I got three and a half minutes till I could do the next one. Can I see what I need for it? Yeah, plates, that, and some reinforced plates, which is screws. I don't need any copper for that. Um... Samor. I have no idea. I found it and brought it home. Okay. <laughs> Bruise. That. Good. Stack of that on me. Alright. Should. Actually, when this thing lands, I might be capable of making it. Reinforced takes, so I need to make some screws. Is there anything I can help with? I've just filled up everything and got No, a it's just of... literally me holding down a button right now, so. Whatever you deem as needing to be done. Okay. Might look into making those jump pads, because that would help me get more of the little guys. Yeah, and that's that's uh, going to be a useful thing. I found a red glory one, but it was in an absolutely impossible spot. Now those. Yeah, I think I'll have this done by the time the <laughs> thing gets... Yeah, there's ten of those. Then, what do I have? Twenty-nine... I could just go pull those off of the thing if I wanted to, but 60, which I'm going to have to. Might as well form these then. Mm. Use up some of that stuff I've got in my... Oh, there's another 60. Got me up to 138, and then I need another, let's see, 100 roughly. Okay. These should be producing pretty well now. The um, two things. Okay. That we are actually producing at this point. Awesome. I'm gonna actually thank you some of them right now. Okay, what are we at on time? 49 seconds. I better get the material on me. I'm gonna look at what I got new, actually. Might throw an assembler out here someplace. Just to get that started. Those two are running forward. I'm gonna leave room to split. Oh, look, directly above us. Oh, that's so cool. You can hear it making... It's like, uh, making, like, a whale noise. Oh. <laughs> that's amazing. Alright. I thought I had... I guess I didn't. Yeah, the plates seem to be the, the thing that we're going to have to focus a lot more on. And that one's complete. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckways! And I hate skip again. After medical consultation, additional buildings aimed at factory traversal mm. have been added. That's interesting. Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. We have walkways now. So we can build uh, skywalks. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So we Over have all of tier 1 and tier 2 down. 
Oh, wow. Uh, complete space elevator phase one. Oh, we need to make the space elevator. Oh, now. it did say that that was our goal. Yeah, but we have all of the tiers down now. I think um, knowing that we need to make that now. Space elevator. 1,500, 400, 250, 500. Okay, uh, what do we... Um, I think we're going to make that in the next one. Yep, I think so that sounds good. I think the way we should do this in the next one, let me find my da -da -da, space elevator. I didn't mean to actually try to click on the thing to make it. Okay, space elevator is going to be 500 of the uh, concrete, 250 of the sheets, which is the plates. Those mm -hmm. are coming out fine. 400 of the rods. That's fine, those are getting produced. And 1,500 of the um, copper wire. Ah, okay. If you want to make the um, concrete, sure. basically, the we've got the rest of this. Okay. Yep, I can, uh, I can focus on that. So let's go ahead and, for the next two minutes, make that stuff. Okay. Uh, and then uh, after that, we can pick it up on the next one. But I'm, I've already got enough stuff for all this. All right, I will start with the concrete. I would guess the material would be a lot more. <laughs> um, can I, here, I can uh, track that actually. Uh, do that. Now I'm gonna sit here and make 1500 wire. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Can I see how many I can make? Oh, yeah, down there. Five. What do I have? Oh, yeah, I'm going to need some more sacks of these. Overload it. It's actually not bad because it's three per make. Right. So I'm making 1,500, which is... And they're... they're it looks like about two to three per second. Okay, so it's not terrible. So nine... It'd be 1,500 divided by 9 seconds, roughly. Okay. It's not too bad. I can watch it ticking up on the right-hand side, though. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm doing the same thing with concrete. Yeah, you got the 500 concrete, and the plate should be sitting inside the thing. Yeah, well, that should be no problem. And the 400 rods shouldn't be an issue either. That's already sitting inside there. I okay. I know we, uh, I haven't been using that many rods, so we have a bunch of them. And then we'll have the first phase of the space elevator, which will allow for, um, uh, the next phase to get opened up. That's really exciting. I've always wanted a space elevator. I don't know how that works, because, um... Interplanetary motion, <laughs> uh, <laughs> gravitational force, and like the tensile strength of. I, You're playing logic here. Can, do you have the 500 concrete? I'm working on it. I'm at 300. Okay, I'm gonna go get the plates and stuff. Okay. I need 400 of these. One, two, three, four. I need 250 plates. There's 250 plates, and we're just... You're waiting on me. Yep, I'm at 400. Me. We're going. I'll throw these in here. We've got so much copper. Oh, no. Get one more set from the storage container. What do you need? The limestone. Oh, I think we have some right here. I took it out of there already. Okay, all right. I just need to grab another set. Almost there. Plates. 250, 400. 1,500. Oh, I got three copper on me for some reason. All right. 500 concrete. Does right. that need to go to you or in the hub? Uh, to me. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right. It's a uh, building material. Okay. Got it. Oh, look, it stacks them. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they look like concrete bags, too. Yeah. All right. I have enough to build a 
um, space elevator. Yeah, I was gonna say a sky needle, but that's not the right thing. <laughs> build us a space elevator. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it at the start of the next one because I don't know how much like when we build it, we're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff and all that kind of. That's so fair. I'm gonna do that at the next one, and I'm gonna think a little bit about where to put it even. That thing is freaking huge. There's that big plateau up there. I wonder if we shouldn't put it up there. Yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing up there, so that might be a good place to put it. That way, this whole area can be for manufacturing. Yeah, and I don't want to end up shipping it, or st shipping it. <laughs> Words. I don't want to stick it right in the middle and then find out that that's going to block our production capability somehow. Right, right. All right, so let's go ahead and end it there. I'm going to get inside the base for no real good reason, actually. Um, so next time we make an elevator space. Sounds good. All right. See everybody then. Bye.